As we say farewell to our late Queen, the UK opens a new chapter, a new Carolean age, under His Majesty, King Charles III. We want this era to be one of hope and progress, one in which we defend the values of individual liberty, self-determination and equality before the law. One in which we ensure that freedom and democracy prevail for all people. And one in which we deliver on the commitments that Her Late Majesty the Queen made here 65 years ago. This is about what we do in the United Kingdom and what we do as member states of the United Nations. Our commitment to hope and progress must begin at home, in the lives of each of, of every citizen that we serve. Our strength as a nation comes from the strong foundations of freedom and democracy. There is a real struggle going on between different forms of society, between democracies and autocracies. And unless democratic societies deliver on the economy and the security that our citizens expect, we will fall behind. We need to keep improving and renewing what we're doing for this new era, demonstrating that democracy delivers. As Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, I'm determined that we will deliver the progress that people expect. I will lead a new Britain for a new era. We are cutting off the toxic power and pipelines from authoritarian regimes and strengthening our energy resilience. We will ensure that we can't be coerced or harmed by the reckless actions of rogue actors abroad. And we will transition to a future based on renewable and nuclear energy while ensuring the gas used during that transition is from reliable sources, including our own North Sea production. We won't be strategically dependent on those who seek to weaponize the global economy. Instead, we're reforming our economy to get Britain moving, and we want to work with our allies so we can all move forward together. The free world needs this economic strength and resilience to push back against authoritarian aggression and win this new era of strategic competition. The contrast between Russia's conduct and Ukraine's brave, dignified First Lady, Elena Zelenska, who's here at the UN today, could not be more stark. The Ukrainians aren't just defending their own country. They're defending our values and the security of the whole world. That's why we must act. That's why the UK will, set, will spend 3% of GDP on defense by 2030, maintaining our position as the leading security actor in Europe. And that's why, at this crucial moment in the conflict, I pledge that we will sustain or increase our military support to Ukraine for as long as it takes. This is a decisive moment in our history, in the history of this organization and in the history of freedom. The story of 2022 could have been that of an authoritarian state rolling its tanks over the border of a peaceful neighbor and subjugating its people. Instead, it's a story of freedom fighting back. In the face of rising aggression, we've shown that we have the power to act and the resolve to see it through. But this can't be a one-off. This must be a new era where we commit to ourselves, to our citizens and this institution that we will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to deliver for our people and defend our values.